everybody and welcome to another get it all done video clean with me cook with me I did a little bit of everything today today was pretty hectic um, on my end I visited the doctor in the morning and then I just spent the afternoon catching up at home decided to make a air fryer ninja foodie uh, recipe but first I had a lot of cleaning to do all around the house I have a confession my pantry I have two pantries they are absolutely a disaster and I haven't shown them to you guys yet because I'm not ready to do that but uh, that's on my list it is on my list of things to tackle so stay tuned for that. Sometimes I just want to get everything off my counter and, uh, you know, find a place for my toaster and my Keurig my soda stream but to be honest with you we use those things every single day so it's hard for me to put them away but I really want to I would love to just have my entire kitchen have nothing on um, the countertops but fortunately we, we pretty much use everything every day so that would just be extra work for us to have to take everything out every time we make a few cups of coffee. The dining room is just a place that we use more than any other space in the house and so it always gets messy. I decided it was time to put away our uh, typical tablecloth and just let the table breathe for a bit. To be honest with you, I, tr I had another tablecloth, but it was too small. So, uh, breathing it is. And we're still looking for a piece to put on the left side of our hutch. Um, we're not rushing to buy anything just yet. We're still shopping. For Valentine's Day, we really only put out two or three decorations. I really did not go too crazy this year. And I kind of like it since we're just coming out of the chaos that is Christmas. I gave this piece a really big cleaning, especially around the back edges, and I found so much dirt. Believe it or not, same thing goes for my bar cart. There was one piece on my bar cart that for some reason collected so much dirt. I don't understand it. Uh, everything else was pretty much clean. I, I, I clean each room every few days, so um, I don't really give it a chance to build up but this one piece I, I I don't understand how filthy it got and then in this corner I even found extra stuff on the floor so I pushed it out to make sure that I would get it once I got to the vacuuming. We're still working on our mantle, trying to find the right pieces, but for now lots of art and family photos will do.
And next week I have to go inside the fireplace and actually clean it out. These rooms are done and done. Now, this is my den. This is the messiest room of my house. This is where the boys play. This is where the dog sleeps. This is where my son does his homework. This is a multi-functioning room. There is so much in this room. It's actually as clean as I can get it. There's really, uh, it still always feels clutter to me because there is so much going on, but I do my best. Also, this is my dog's favorite position to search for squirrels. It really is. <laughs> he knows those are his toys. I pulled the PlayStation out from behind the TV and the whole back of the PlayStation was topped with dust. I actually couldn't believe it. As you can see, our back door, uh, the glass is broken, so we have to work on fixing that. The boys like to work with weight. And I don't really have a place to store them, so I hide them behind my curtain. The living room is where my children do their homework. It's where my husband works all day. Uh, he's also a stay-at-home writer, so he does our bills in the living room, and that table is always filled with stuff. You would not believe how many blankets we actually own. This guy's got a good life. So since I took all my Christmas decorations down, uh, things are bare. I still have to go up to the attic and pull down my normal, uh, typical stuff that I display. So these two rooms are now done and it's time to start cooking. So tonight I'm making um, chicken drumsticks. Basically I just put a few um, cups of flour, 
some garlic salt. It called for paprika, but I put some barbecue seasoning instead. I mixed it up and then I, I put some black pepper. In hindsight, I would have added a, a little bit more regular salt. I sprayed everything down, tossed the chicken with the flour, filled in as much as I could. I ended up having to do two batches. The chicken was wet since I had just washed it, so it was easy to coat. And then I did it 390 for 25 minutes, or 400 for 25 minutes, excuse me. While I waited, I just vacuumed all three rooms. My dog does not like vacuuming, so to be honest with you, I just showed a little bit of this portion. At the 10 minute mark, you just flip your chicken, spray it one more time and let it finish. And I then decided to make some broccoli rice casserole. Now, I normally make broccoli rice casserole with chicken, but I had chicken drumsticks, so I was making them on the side. So I just did the recipe as I would, minus the chicken. So uh, I'm not much of a recipe follower. I just use what I have. So if the recipe said three quarters of uh, onion, I'm, I would just use a whole onion. I, I just use what I have. Um, I don't know what kind of chef that makes me, but it's a lazy chef. That's what it makes me. So I just used a whole onion. And then I used half a stick of butter after I helped my son with the snack. And then I sauteed it until it was translucent. Now, truth be told, this isn't a quick dinner, but my family really, really loves it. So I don't make this so often but uh, I do enjoy it. So salt and pepper, a couple of tablespoons of flour, and I'll link the proper recipe below just in case you want to follow it um, the right way. Two cups of milk. And you're supposed to whisk it and bring that to a boil. So while I was bringing that to a boil, I brought out my first batch of chicken and then popped in my second. Uh, I was cooking white rice on the side and then I was steaming broccoli. So once my mixture was came to a boil, I put in, you're supposed to put in three tablespoons of cream cheese and then one and a half cups of shredded cheddar. But as you can see, I used a whole bag of cheddar and I just scooped in 
uh, whatever I thought was three tablespoons of cream cheese. And I like to try to chop up my broccoli. The bag that I buy, the pieces are pretty large. I thought there was a little bit too much broccoli, so I took some out so my husband can have it as a snack tomorrow. He, he's a big vegetable eater. So you pour everything on top and you mix. I, I had to wait for the rice, so I really didn't go too crazy. Of course, at the 10 minute mark, you have to mix again. You have to toss again. I sprayed one more time. My son needed help with homework, so my husband stepped in and loaded the dishwasher. He's getting us a pencil. And of course, the pencil wasn't sharpened. Bill is really good about the dishwasher. So I told him that I told you guys that he sings with the water. And now he is being aware of that. <laughs> He's not doing it. So I'm just sharpening a pencil really quickly so I can help my son. Chicken is done, or tossed, I'm tossing the chicken, I'm checking the chicken one more time. Quick homework break. Yes, he does it on the table. <laughs> He's, uh, keeps me young. My rescue is 16 months old. And now the chicken is finished. So I'm pulling the chicken out. As you can see, it is really unbelievably crisp. And I just used cooking spray. I didn't use any oil. My rice is done, so I just shove the rice, two cups of rice, into my dish and toss it. And then I bake for 35 minutes. But, oh, and then you toss, you're supposed to top with a, I don't know how much cheese, I just topped it, whatever I had. I let it cook a little, <laughs> a little bit too long because I was editing this video. But everyone loved how crispy the top was, so I'm not complaining. It actually came out really good. Nobody complained, I promise. Homework's done. House is clean. Dinner's done. And now we get to eat. I just made a quick salad. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, until our next video, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I would love a subscribe. I'll see you next time.